Hello everyone. I am Swapna Bandla. I am a senior streaming solutions architect with AWS. In this video, I will show how easy it is to stream data in real time to Snowflake with Amazon Data Firehose. You can do it in 5 easy steps. Create a key pair to be used for authenticating with Snowflake. And then prepare the Snowflake cluster for streaming by creating user, role and database. Create an Amazon Data Firehose delivery stream to deliver to Snowflake table as a destination. Ingest sample data into Amazon Data Firehose delivery stream that would then be streamed into Snowflake tables. And as a last step, you can query this data in Snowflake. Here is the data flow. From left to right, we'll have a producer application running on an EC2 instance to read from real-time flight tracking database and send to Amazon Data Firehose. Amazon Data Firehose will stream these events to Snowflake in real-time. You can further run analytics on this data from Snowflake using Streamlit or Grafana or Amazon QuickSight. Let's create this streaming application. First step is to create a key pair to be used for authenticating with Snowflake. You can use your local machine or an EC2 instance to create a key pair by running these commands. You will be prompted for an encryption password. This password is the passphrase to decrypt the private key. It must be between 7 and 255 characters. Remember this password, you will need it later. Next we will create a public key by running this command. Enter the password from the prior step. Next, we'll print out the public and private key string in a correct format that can that we can use for configuration later. Second step is to prepare the Snowflake cluster for streaming by creating user, role and database. First, log into your Snowflake account as a power user with account admin role. Then run the following commands in the worksheet. Let's retrieve the account identifier, Snowflake private account URL and VPC ID that we would use while creating the Firehose stream. Next, we need to configure the public key for the streaming user to access Snowflake programmatically. In this command, Replace the pub key with the content of the file from uh, home SSM user pub.key from the EC2 instance. Next, log out of Snowflake and sign back in as a streaming user which is created with the associated password. I sign back into Snowflake as a streaming user and I'm running these commands to create a schema in the database that we created earlier. Using this database and schema that we just created, I'll be creating a new table to stream data into Snowflake from Firehose. Third step is to create Amazon Data Firehose stream. After clicking the Create Firehose stream, select the source as direct put and destination as Snowflake. You can name the Firehose stream anything that you would like. For the destination settings, enter the Snowflake account URL that we have, uh, the private account URL that we have retrieved earlier from Snowflake. For the authentication, uh, use uh, user and private key. Use the streaming user that uh, we have created earlier. And enter the private key that we have uh, displayed or we have extracted in the EC2 instance. Enter the passphrase that we have selected earlier while creating these keys in the EC2 instance. For the role, use the custom snowflake role that we have created uh, 
earlier uh, in the snowflake account enter the vpc id that we have retrieved in the snowflake account as well for the snowflake database schema and table names enter the ones that we have created earlier Use JSON keys as table column names. Choose an S3 bucket where you can write the failed data. And then go ahead and create Firehose stream. Fourth step is to ingest sample data into Amazon Data Firehose delivery stream. You can run this Python script that gets the raw flight data from a real time source and send to the Firehose delivery stream that we just created. Enter the name of the Firehose stream as the parameter for this Python script. Firehose stream will send this data to Snowflake in real time. Final step is to query this data in Snowflake. As you can see, data that is generated by the producer application running on the EC2 instance is sent to Firehose, which is then delivering in real time to Snowflake into this ADF streaming table that we can query and see you here. This concludes the demo of Firehose streaming data to Snowflake in real time. Thank you for watching.